Now, we've got speculation continuing to grow about these locations or not for the Coalition's nuclear plants. They've not confirmed anywhere yet. Locals in the New South Wales town of Lithgow, uh, which has a, a, a rich mining history, they were on uh, 2GB today and they were asked uh, by Ben Fordham, the presenter, if there were to be a nuclear reactor in Lithgow, what would they think? Here's what the reaction was. But if they say it's coming to Lithgow, you'll vote for it? Well, I would vote for it. And I think increasingly I'm hearing the disillusion that people have in, in Lithgow with renewables. Peter, do you want the nuclear power plant? Absolutely, Ben. Couldn't think of anything better. I'm currently looking over Pearson's Lookout in the Capity Valley right now. It's a truly amazing place and it needs more employment. Why should Lithgow not power Australia? We must have nuclear. This area is just magnificent, but it's dying. Well, James, there's uh, the talkback audience. I mean, whether it's reflective of the entire community, we wouldn't know. But I think... Uh, the coalition are onto something with nuclear, and I also think that the federal government underestimates uh, the Australian uh, the, our hunger for reliable energy. And if nuclear can provide it, and you can stick one in former mining communities like Lithgow, why wouldn't you do that? Yeah, exactly right. Peter Dutton is right to start the debate, even if it is just on the floor of Parliament. I think the community need to have this discussion as well. I'm in central Queensland where I live. We've got a uh, coal-fired power station there, probably the youngest and probably the last one that's due to be retired at Stanwell here in Queensland. But no one has actually heard from Michelle Landry, who is the local member for Capricornia, as to whether she supports Peter Dutton's plan. So unless we hear that the full coalition are on board, we do need to have a look at those locations which we've got coal-fired power stations already that Peter Dutton is proposing. We put the coal, uh, the, the nuclear power plants. They are a hell of a lot safer these days than what they were. You know, I know we've heard of uh, terrible cases in other countries, but we're talking about old nuclear technology which has caused problems for the likes of Japan and over in Russia and, and other uh, parts of the world. But Look, honestly, we've got new technology. There must be a discussion with the public. Uh, the scare campaigns, look, you can treat them with scare campaigns all you like, as Labor are trying to do, but 60% of the Australian population are at least warm to the idea of a discussion, and I think that Peter Dutton is on the right path. One Nation will certainly support Peter Dutton if he's to become Prime Minister on that discussion with nuclear. Terry, uh, it was the coldest day in Melbourne today for five years. Um, I had a look on an, an app this morning at 11am and at 11am, 98% uh, of electricity in Victoria was being generated by either coal, gas or a little bit of hydro. The sun was producing 1%, the wind 1%, so 2% in total. And yet the federal government would have us believe that within six and a half, five and a half years, we're going to have 85% of our, our energy uh, produced by renewables. It's not going to happen, is it? I'll believe that when I see it, Stephen. And, and really, I think uh, James is right. I think uh, Peter Dutton is on the button when it comes to uh, spruiking nuclear as part of an energy mix. And look, and I grew up in Sydney, Sutherland Shire, within sight of the Lucas Heights nuclear reactor there. And uh, look, I think... It, Nuclear power can be safe, it is safe, and it should be part of the mix. But uh, to rely on renewables that are unreliable in weather like we've been having in Melbourne today, and I've been freezing my, my bum off, just like you, uh, is, it just goes to, the, goes to the point. We can't rely on the unreliable.